I don't know how you do it. Be around sick people all day. You can get used to it. I don't know how you do what you do. Mm. Everybody's born naked. It's actually kind of cool when you strip it all away, you know, you just feel free. Hmm. Why do you want to go on workers' comp? I need to get out of that club. My last boyfriend, he bartends there. He ripped me off. Well, I don't see any masses in the right lower quadrant. Is that good? Very good. <sighs> yeah, he played me so bad. And then when I found out he was doing the same thing with like three other girls, I dumped his ass and he went nuts. He's basically been stalking me. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, you can uh, wipe that up, sit up when you're done. Everything's looking normal. Okay. And it just sucks because I have to deal with him on a nightly basis, which is why I really need out. Oh. <laughs> you okay? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. I haven't had anything to drink since the last call, I swear. I need a full blood panel in your analysis, please, right now. What is wrong with me? I don't know. But we're gonna find out. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. These were my favorite shoes. I'm really sorry. Hello. What are you looking at? I am looking at your new blood work, trying to figure out what is wrong with you. Oh, any ideas? Not yet. You're a bit of a mystery. But I am here for 11 more hours, so. Don't gotta tell me about long shifts on your feet. At least you're not in platforms. <laughs> ah, ah, oh. Is the pain getting worse? Yes. Aren't there any more tests you can run? We run all the tests. You're a conundrum here. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna take that as a compliment, as long as it doesn't mean slut. It doesn't. Are your eyes sore? Yeah, my vision is getting kind of blurry. How blurry? Um, pretty bad, actually. Maybe I need a new prescription. What were you drinking last night? Oh, you'll laugh if I tell you. Tell me, it's important. Blue moons. What's in that? Irish cream, blue curacao, and grenadine. It's kind of my thing. All my regulars know it. How many of those did you drink? I don't know. Well, it was a busy night. Why? Jackson! You always yell at me. I don't know. I need you to run a full blood panel and check for methanol poisoning. Thank you. What poisoning? I'm afraid your ex-boyfriend might have tried poisoning you. What? Blue curacao is a lot like antifreeze. But wouldn't I have tasted it? Methanol is very sweet and mixed with something like grenadine. You wouldn't have even known the difference. Oh, my God. You know what? We also got to get her on a bicarb IV and let's get an ethanol drip. We don't have one. What? Ethanol poisoning is rare. We don't stock an ethanol drip. Well, the, what are you going to do? No, don't walk away. It's okay. It's okay. Look, we don't have a lot of time before she's in fulminant liver failure. I need you to call General and find out if they have an ethanol drip. Yeah, I'm on it. Thank you. Am I going to die? No, you are not. Okay. So, we tracked down an ethanol drip from St. Moe's. That's good news. But it's coming by ambulance, and it's gonna take about 20 minutes to get here. So in the meantime, I need you to drink some vodka. Oh, don't joke. I'm not joking. Your liver might metabolize the vodka instead of the methanol. What? I don't get it. Okay, listen. If you drink this vodka, your liver should ignore the antifreeze you drank and absorb the vodka instead. The vodka will save your life. Just drink it, trust me. Yes, sir. I cannot believe he did this to me. I mean, I knew he was psycho, but this is some serious bullshit. Less talking, more drinking. Oh, are you gonna have any of that? I wish, but I can't. What are you so worried about? Hmm. In my line of work, you get pretty good at reading people. Drink. Tell me your problem. Maybe I can help you. I think I might have prostate cancer. Oh. Aren't you a little young? Yes, I am. Oh. So when will you know? Well, I had this 
horribly painful biopsy 48 hours ago, and now I'm just kind of waiting around for the results. So if you have it, you can't, uh... Yeah. Well, that's okay, though. I mean, there's lots of other stuff that you can do. It's not all about the heart and penis. It sort of is. And I can't even believe I'm having this conversation with you. <laughs> So, you're like me. You might die too. The ethanol drip is here. Oh, great. Um, go hook it up to Bernice's IV and uh, get her another bolus of saline and some bicarb too. Yeah, sure. Uh, the lab just handed me these biopsy test results for a Frank Kasabian. I'll take those. I couldn't find Mr. Kasabian's chart. That's good. I got it. Sweet mother of God. Zach? I thought I had cancer. What? And I... I was so scared to tell you, and all I could think was just push it down and just don't feel anything. What? Are you okay? I am. Yeah. So you're not sick? No. But you are half naked? Yes, I am. Why? What for? Because it's paintball time. You are so on. No. <laughs> <laughs> the nurses tell me I'm officially out of the woods. Oh. Well, that makes two of us. You stay off those blue moons, okay? No, strippers on air. Good. And this is for you, so that you don't have to go back to work if you don't want to. You did this for me. It's the least I could do. Why would I do for you? Plenty. Thanks for the drinks. Anytime. Listen, you, uh, you should call the cops on that ex-boyfriend of yours. Oh, yeah. I'm calling the cops on his ass for sure. Okay. Good. Take care. Thank you.